Thanks for tuning in, this is the Life of Miner, and in this video I'm going to go over the hash rates, power draw, and overclocks mining Ravencoin on the GTX 1660 Super. So let's check this out. Okay, so I do own the GTX 1660 Super from Gigabyte, and I'm going to share my mining results mining Ravencoin, and I'll also compare these results with other graphics cards as well. Now this is my test bench with the GTX 1660 Super and it does idle around 42 watts. Now the miner program I'm going to use is called T-Rex Miner version 0.14.6 and I have tested other miner programs mining Ravencoin but this is the best one that I have tested so far. So using T-Rex Miner on stock settings I was averaging around 16.2 mega hashes. Now the whole test bench was pulling around 152 watts, so the GPU itself was only pulling around 110 watts. So the average hash per watt is about 0.15 mega hashes per watt. Now for the overclock program I'm going to use, I'm going to use the most popular one, which is MSI Afterburner. But personally, I do undervolt all my NVIDIA graphics cards using NVIDIA Inspector. And this is the stock settings for the GTX 1660 Super in MSI Afterburner. Now in order to get a more accurate average hash rate, it's best to check the mining pool you're mining at. So I'm personally using Nano Pool, and this is all my mining rigs mining Ravencoin. Now just checking out the 1660 Super, the average 6 hour hash rate is about 16.2 mega hashes on stock settings. Okay, so now let's go ahead and overclock this graphics card and drop the power limit. So I did put the core at plus 100, memory at plus 300, and the power limit at 75. So now with these overclock settings, I was averaging around 17.8 mega hashes and the power did decrease so the GPU itself was now pulling around 85 watts. So now the average hash per watt is about 0.21 mega hashes per watt. So I did gain about 1.6 mega hashes and decreased my power about 25 watts. My hash per watt did increase by 0.06 mega hashes per watt. So I did increase my efficiency by about 40% from stock settings. Now checking out Nanopool again, you'll see that I was averaging around 17.8 mega hashes in the past 6 hours with these overclock settings. Now I did want to see if I could lower the power even more, so I put the core at plus 100, memory at plus 300, and the power limit at 65. And all I did was decrease the power limit by 10 from the previous settings. So now I was averaging around 14.4 mega hashes and the GPU itself was now pulling around 72 watts. The average hash per watt is now about 0.20 mega hashes per watt. Now compared to stock settings, I did decrease my hash rate by about 1.8 mega hashes, but also decreased my power by about 38 watts, so my efficiency did increase by about 33%. But now compared to the overclock settings and setting the power limit to 75, I did decrease my hash rate by about 3.4 mega hashes, but also decreased my power by about 13 watts. So my efficiency did decrease by about 5%. Now I do want to mention that it's always best to set your overclocks depending on your situation. You may need to pull a lot less power due to power limits, the cost, or even the heat. Now check out Nanopool again with the same overclocks but the power limit at 65. I was averaging around 14.4 mega hashes in the past 6 hours. Okay, so now comparing the GTX 1660 Super with other graphics cards. Now I did grab all these figures from what to mine, so they may not be exactly correct, but please let me know in the comments what hash rate and power draw you're getting and what your overclock settings are so we can all help each other out. So to sum it up, the GTX 1660 Super averages around 17.8 mega hashes pulling around 85 watts, so the average hash per watt for the 1660 Super is around 0.21 mega hashes per watt. Now for NVIDIA graphics cards, the original GTX 1660 does average around 17 mega hashes pulling around 90 watts. The GTX 1660 Ti averages around 17.2 mega hashes pulling around 90 watts. The GTX 1070 averages around 18 mega hashes pulling around 130 watts. And the RTX 2060 averages around 22 mega hashes pulling around 130 watts. And for the AMD graphics card, the RX 580 does average around 11.5 mega hashes pulling around 130 watts. And the Vega 64 averages around 18 mega hashes pulling around 250 watts. Okay, so in conclusion, the GTX 6060 Super is actually one of the best budget graphics cards 
if you're planning on buying new. But overall, when it comes to mining Ravencoin, basically all the NVIDIA cards will be more efficient compared to the AMD cards for now. But the new AMD graphics cards can change that down the road. Okay, so since Ravencoin uses 17 different hashing algorithms, the hash rate does fluctuate constantly. Now the 1660 Super was getting in the range between 13 to 23 mega hashes when overclocked. But let's go ahead and speed this up and check this out. Alright, so thanks for checking out my mining results mining Ravencoin on the GTX 1660 Super. And definitely check out my channel to see other testings on other algorithms as well. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you enjoyed it, sub if you're excited to see what's next. But of course, thanks for watching and always happy mining. Ready?